Uh. Yeah. Dark skin, deep rooted. You smile crazy and your ass stupid. I gotta ask, do you jump around a half an hour just to put your jeans on and you kinda laugh? We getting faded. The weekend vibe, I know it's your favorite. You and your makeup. Flashback to the summer that we broke up. Put a hole in my heart like a donut. What's going on, Weekend Vibes family? It's your girl, Lady G, and I'm back with another video. Happy New Year's, um, Weekend Vibes family. I know it's been a while and we're in a whole new year so i decided to finally drop some content in today's video as you can tell by the title i'm doing a diy prep for my friend's baby shower we hosted it at a restaurant and it was my first time actually even attending a baby shower at a restaurant but i've seen it so i feel like this is becoming like common practice to do and in today's video i'm just showing you some of the things that i put together for the shower and i wanted it to feel very nostalgic to actually going to a baby shower so in this video you'll be seeing me again put things together majority of the things that i got is from amazon and right now i'm just doing a quick little unboxing i'm going to show you some of the items i got um and also put together a few things so right now i'm actually pulling out a few baby games because i'm trying to see what i need to bring with me to the shower and also if there's anything i gotta put together before i get home and again amazon came in very clutch because your girl did not know amazon was like so good with everything i knew amazon is like the truth but i didn't know that i would be able to get as much things as i did and right here, these are the party favors. They're actually honey jars. And I seen it on Pinterest and I thought it'd be a cute little idea because um, it's a baby bear theme. So I got that, it came with a little comb, it's so adorable. I ended up actually putting gummy bears in it. Um, those are the white cloths. Yes, I got tablecloths. The restaurant we were going to does not have tablecloths and I wanted it to look very nice. And those are the picture frames I got from the Dollar Tree. But again, everything else came from Amazon. And that's my handy dandy balloon pump over there. This is the um, game where you measure the size of the stomach. And those are the pins where you can't say the word baby or anything that starts with a B. Again, I wanted it to feel like an actual real baby shower, even though we're at a restaurant, which is, like I said, becoming now a common practice to do. And what are these? Oh. So these are some cake toppers that I did not even end up using. It was very off um, as far as the color scheme. I was going for like, um, what is it? Like a baby boy blue, browns and nudes and tans. And right here is the uh, cupcake stand that I got. It is a wood, kind of like a tree stomp. It was very on theme. Um, it took me a hot minute to put it together. I don't know if it didn't come with instructions or I just chose not to read them. But yeah, it took me a minute to get this together. But no, it came out so cute um, as far as when everything got set up at the restaurants, which you'll see in a later video. But it was very on brand with the theme that I was going for. Again, it was um, Baby Bear. So yeah. And then I'm just packing up everything towards the side as I open the boxes so I can know what I need to prep before I go to the restaurant. And right here is the banner. I thought it was going to be bigger, but it still fit pretty good. I got an easel, which had me in a chokehold trying to put it together. And then these are the um, blocks. It says baby. Um, it's in that nice wooden brown theme. The same thing like the cupcake stand. Like again, very on brand for the theme. So I'm just like checking things out as I go along and putting together what I need to put together at home. Most majority of the stuff I did put together at the restaurant because it was like a simple one too. But there was a few things I needed to put together at home um, ahead of time. And these are the, of course, bears. You can't have a bear themed baby shower without bears. So these are the bears and I'm actually going to be using them to do like that floating bear thing. It's like, I see them on Pinterest, so I'm gonna pop a photo. But basically it's like, um, how do I explain this? It's kind of like um, the illusion that the bear is floating on clouds, which is um, the balloons. But I didn't get any white balloons, so I couldn't really do that. Um, 
kind of needed white balloons for clouds. I could have used like the blues, but I didn't think I had enough. And then this thing that you see me here using, it's actually a balloon stand again from Amazon. If you guys want to know any of the stuff that I got, you can hit me up in the comments and I'll link them. But yeah, this is a balloon stand that I got from Amazon and it wasn't for the exact idea what I was going for, but it came in handy. Like I looked at it when I was trying to figure out how I would put this little balloon bear thing together and I felt like this would be really good. I'm just over here on the side now looking at a video and I'm trying to just make sure that I'm um, putting it together and I had a few screenshots from Pinterest that I had. So yeah, I'm going to put that together so you'll see how I put the stand together. I'll struggle a bit, but it comes out really cute though in the end. Anyways, enjoy the rest of this video. I'll pop back in in just a few. So right now I am separating the balloons that I got. Um, I ended up getting one pack. I knew that I couldn't do so much balloons like you would um, normally do because you know as a restaurant I still have to be mindful of their other guests and I was very grateful that the restaurant allowed us to have the um, shower there so I didn't want to OD too much because I am extra um, so for this whole entire video I probably just used one pack and it was enough to do the three balloon bear stands and also I did like a hanging balloon garland that hung on the easel so for the pattern um I really didn't have no real direction it was my first time doing this I decided to do three of each color um doing like the um smaller stands like very medium sized balloons medium small and then the one that the higher stand from this balloon rack was a little bit bigger than that but it wasn't too too big and then um I had the idea that I would uh, have the bear sit on the stand while um, it's going to give that illusion that the bear is like holding onto it and like floating up into the air because the stand was clear so you really couldn't see that the bear was actually sitting on a stand. It actually looks like the bear was holding balloons and was floating away. So that was the concept behind that. 
and sorry about the angle but again when you see part three yeah part three you'll see the full effect of the bear i have a few clips here and there um you'll see the full effect of the stand but yeah hope you guys are enjoying this video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow me on instagram so another thing i forgot to mention there's actually like a little plastic hooks that i'm using to hook the ends of the balloon and then i have balloon pasties that i'm pasting on some smaller balloons that are on top because i want it to look not it couldn't be too too full because i wanted to be able to hold the stand together without it falling without it being too heavy so i basically put three on the hooks and then i took the balloon pasties and i paste smaller balloons on top so it's actually four balloons So the last thing I did was use the string that came with the balloon kit to tie the bears to the stand. Um, if somebody in the comments know a better method than I did, because clearly I was struggling and these balloons kept falling, it was a mess, but it still looked cute. Um, basically I used the hands and of course, cause you know it's a floating. So I just used one hand and I tied it to the um, plastic and I just struggled a bit and that's how I did it to be honest you know maybe you take this video and it's just an idea for you but don't run with it <laughs> but it still came out cute though
So the next thing I did was fill the jars with the um, gold, what are they, gummy bears, I was supposed to say goldfish. And I had to put on gloves to show you because I know cleaning this police be having people in the chokehold on IG, coming for people cleaning their chicken and not washing their meats. Okay, let me stop playing like I'm not a part of that community. Yes, I be raising an eyebrow to people, I'm like, mm, did you wash off your meat? Cause yeah a little vinegar and lemon goes a long way but anywho um again i saw this idea on pinterest this girl had a really cute baby bear theme and i know a lot of people would put honey in this because i've seen it but she put gummy bears and it was so cute i actually wanted the um there's actually like a light gold color gummy bear from the harbor brand and it was so cute that's the one she had but i couldn't find it anywhere and then i did see it on amazon but it was like very small packaging and i knew i would have to buy a lot at that price in order to fill them so it was not cost efficient and um again we are doing this uh, uh baby shower um a little bit on budget um you know so I definitely didn't want to go out of budget and that's the majority of the reason why we decided to have it at a restaurant because it was more cost efficient without having to like spend money on food everybody comes order what you like and you know we supply everything else so that's another reason but anywho it came out really cute with the gummy bears and to be honest i feel like this is the best brand of gummy bears um argue with yourself in the comments but this is the best brand so anyways i'm just gonna fill this up um and then i'm tying the honeycomb and a little thank you to the um side of the uh, jars it came out really cute had me again in another choco <laughs> but it came out cute regardless anyways i hope again you guys are still enjoying this video and don't forget to share this video with your friends who might possibly be thinking about having a baby shower and it's you know a little cost efficient give them this idea throw it out of restaurants very great idea And 
and this is the last thing that I made for the baby shower it's a DIY diaper cake this is actually my second time making one of these so if you haven't seen the first video make sure you check it out in part two of this baby shower series I'll be dropping um, the full video of how this diaper cake came together so you make sure you stick around and look out for part two um, thank you for watching today's video and that's the easel that I made and I hope you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stick around for part two and three love you